ladies and gentlemen, OpenXCOM allows for modding of the original XCOM games with a bit of ease. So as such, there's a lot of mod packs available. Most of them are for the first game, UFO Defense or Enemy Unknown, as it was called in Europe. That seems to be the game that everybody's more familiar with and that the, that's the one that they know and love. Terror from the Deep, however, is the one that I know and love from that very precious, I think it was a PC Gamer demo CD way back in the day. And ever since, I've loved the game. And I, I just, I prefer it over the first game. The first game's not bad. It's just, just different in a way. Uh, I don't know. I always like Terror from the Deep more. But I've done a lot of series on Terror from the Deep, so I figured it was time for something a little bit different. So now I'm trying out the War of Terrifying Silence mod pack. The War of Terrifying Silence, think of it more as like an expansion pack for TFTD. It just adds more everything. Enemies, mission types, dude, dude types, weapons, armors, ammos, researches, manufacturers, just everything. More everything, but it's also all lore friendly. It's very, very well done. I streamed this to completion a little while ago, but it has been a minute, so I don't exactly know what else changed. I had also streamed it with the Sonic Line of Fire on, which I usually tend to play with because it's just, it makes it a little more fair, but this time I'm going to leave that just off so they can do Sonic from across the map if they'd like. I don't mind. Well, I do mind, but we'll see how it goes. Typically I'd play on Superhuman, but this does actually increase the difficulty quite a lot. A significant lot, in my opinion. So, veteran for this, I think is just fine. Iron Man we're leaving off, but I will be abiding by its rules. I won't be doing any safe scumming. What happens, happens. If a grenade flies in and takes out everybody on the Trident and the Trident itself, and we lose all of it, then so be it. That's fine. We'll deal with it. And if we lose, we lose. That's just how it goes. That's XCOM. But I need to be able to save and load at my leisure because of recording purposes. If something happens on the recording end of things, or if I have just a recording session that just goes absolutely awry and I can't edit it, or if I lose some raw footage for whatever reason, um, I need to be able to load and redo it then. And I just, yeah, but I'll only be doing it if there's a technical issue on my end. Nothing that I'll actually take advantage of for better outcomes or so like some people do. Ugh, disgusting. Starting location. For those of you who may not know, maybe you're a little bit new to Terror for the Deep. I don't know who's watching. Um, USA, the biggest single funding nation that is available. If you start next to them, you'll be in pretty good shape. It is recommended, though, that you also try to grab a little bit of Alaska if you can. So starting like up here or so is a pretty OK bet because USA and Alaska together is a pretty cool combination. However, um, initially we're looking at that innermost circle that's around. We expand our radar down the road to those outer circles, but as you can see, there's not a whole lot available, funding nation-wise, in those outer circles, so you don't really get a whole lot for expanding that way, so you kind of need to have another base to make that happen, which is generally fine, but just a little bit annoying. There's also the European area, which is kind of okay. You get a lot more as you expand, but there's a lot of landmass in the way, and obviously a downed UFO on the land is no good. You do get to terror missions pretty quickly though, because you've got so much landmass near you that it, it's, I suppose, kind of a bonus if you're up for that. But the best, in my opinion, is the Asian area here. The Asian Coalition, the uh, Federation of Korea, I think, the Free China and Neo Japan. There's also Australasia hanging out down there. There's a cumulative funding of all these countries together is significantly higher than the USA. So I quite like to hang out down here. Sort of just, just south of Korea here. And as we expand, we can pick up more and we just get a lot more money. I'm just going to call it Asia because I'm not very creative. And if I go into funding and show you USA giving us 600,000. Um, that's not right. Wait a minute. Asian Coalition 715. Hold the phone. Yeah, that seems more like it. What the hell? I just did a, a new game quick. Uh, USA is 943,000 now. Boy, is this is this random? I feel like it might be random. I don't know. Okay, back to the original one. Um, in this case, USA doesn't actually pay that well at all. Asian Coalition, a absolute load. That's kind of cool. I guess maybe you get like a like a bonus for starting nearby. I don't. I don't really know. I'm I'm not sure. I think it might just be random a little bit. I didn't know that. But anyway, typically, ordinarily, USA is the biggest. In my case, it doesn't seem to be. Hmm. The total is still about 5 million, so that's fine.
I don't know. Okay. Uh, bases. Uh, typically open XCOM, a lot of people do the starting base layout improvement type thing that just starts them off with the more improved base. Sometimes also a slightly upgraded base so they've got like the better sonar and all that. That second one doesn't work very well with this mod pack, but the first one I believe does, though I don't like playing with it because I feel like the starting funds to reorganize the base is just how XCOM is. Otherwise you sort of start with a bunch of extra money, and that's not very fair. So I'm going to go ahead and switch things around myself. We do have a few new buildings here right off the bat, one of which being the training pool, which I'll absolutely be getting. This thing is fantastic. You put in, I believe, 10 soldiers, and they just slowly over time get better. Just all around everything. Time units, bravery, accuracy. I don't think they get reactions or health, though, or bravery, actually thinking about it. But a lot of the other important stuff they do get, so it makes really terrible rookies actually quite good. We'll be picking up a couple of those. There's also the large living quarters and large storage facility, which are pretty expensive, but a bit space saving and generally a pretty cool thing to have. I'm going to go with the large living quarters. So we'll get rid of this living quarters when this is done, and this will just house everybody. And then I can do the sub pen thing and access lift. So if we get attacked, uh, it's still a bit defensible and we have a cool choke. Although there's a lot of buildings in this mod pack, so at some point I think I'm going to have to forego the choke and um, just deal with it so there'll be multiple ways in. But we'll let that happen when it happens. A large storage facility I think I'll pass on because it is actually significantly expensive, but I will do another just general storage. The standard sonar is the only one that we've got. Torpedo defenses are still pretty trash. Workshop I don't believe I need. It helps, but I don't need it. Another lab, kind of the same deal. You don't house 50 scientists anymore. I think it's 25 in this mod pack, which honestly isn't great. But it is better than nothing. I'll pick this up if I can afford it. I definitely want a couple training pools. So there you go, two training pools. And another sub pen, don't need that quite yet. I guess I'll go for another lab. We can afford it. That's fine. So we have a million bucks left. We do need to purchase some more things, one of which being more harpoons. God, the harpoon gun is so terrible, but it's all we get. Uh, solid harpoons, yeah. A bit of those. Uh, maybe not 40 more. Oh, maybe not 40 more harpoons. I want solid harpoons. These are the harpoon guns. The ammo for the harpoon guns. That's, that's what I'm after. And tranquilizer harpoons. Yeah, tons of storage. Go with... I don't know, 40-ish? Dire grenades need more of those. Knives, absolutely. And chemical flares, definitely. Chemical flares are a lot worse in this than they typically would be. Dire grenades are more useful immediately because our starting ship, the Seamaster, does not give us any cover when we land. We just sort of start just on the field with no cover nearby. It's not great, but it's what we've got. Everybody gets a harpoon. Everybody gets a few reloads. And I'll give you the trink harpoons when we can. The die grenades, the knives, and the flares. Cool. So we got a million left. Let's pick up more scientists. And more dudes. 10 and 10. Maybe, hold on. How much space do we have? Yeah, loads. Okay. Because I'd also like to grab some technicians too, just so I got them. So we'll do that. We'll pick up 10 more scientists and then just four more dudes. Excellent, fantastic. That leaves us with fuck all money. But you know what? That's just how it is. Research-wise, two researches to start off with. One of which is a service of database, which if I check it out with the middle mouse button, Leads to super cavitation propulsion, which is the cool ammo, the med kit, the Soroso database, wide array sonar, the bubble, which I'll probably check out around uh, around time we get new weapons, because some of the weapons that I like are quite heavy. And this also affects the game progression. This is a very important research to do, as well as the Soroso database. I believe this unlocks... Um, well, we'll get to that later. It unlocks a mission type that we need to do a few times. A lot of times. There's a particular item that we can only get from those missions. 
But I'm going to start off with a special weapons acquisition. This leads to some of the familiar faces that we all know and love from Terror from the Deep. The Ajax Torpedo, the DUP Head Launcher. Um, some guns that you may not be familiar with, unless you're into that sort of thing. Magna Blast Grenades, Magna Pack Explosive. Some of these things we're going to be using for pretty much the entire game. Alien ADS clip? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. A lot of cool stuff. We're going to be doing that. Right off the bat. Absolutely. Get that done as quickly as possible. And with that, um, I did order new dudes. Yeah. I'll wait for the dudes to come in and then we'll do some naming. Names are in, going off the Patreon name list, supporters $5 or more get their name in-game. If you pledge $15 or more per month, you get clones immediately. Otherwise, I will go through the list once, and then once we go through, I will then loop back around to the start and start cloning then the $5 tier or more people. But the 15 or higher get their clones immediately, and that's why they've already got a Roman numeral at the end of their name, so I know that they need to be cloned immediately. And of course, Krug Dudeski, because obviously. And cool. There is a armor type that I could be giving you guys called the Aqualung, I think. Yeah, Aqualung. But the Aqualung's not that great at all. It's just two armor all around, except the rear, which is five, but that's still just absolutely terrible. Don't even talk about it. It is... I always forget how this works. It receives this percentage of damage from this type, I think. So it's a little resistant to melee, a bit to freeze, but weak to sonic beam. I think it reduces stamina by 20, which I'm not really a fan of at all whatsoever. But it does allow flight, which is pretty significantly important for certain people and playstyles and stuff. For me, I think I'm going to ignore it, though, because the diving suit actually gives you maybe possibly a hope and hell of living if you get shot in the chest, perhaps. Um, melee and acid. I think not great to either of those. I think weak protection against weapon fire. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Recovery each turn. No, that, that's not what I'm after. That's not it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I, I don't know how to read that. Comments to help. <laughs> I, uh, I'll probably forget immediately, but we can we can try. And okay, that's that's that. Uh, equipment wise is also already done. Everybody gets a harpoon. They get a few reloads of Sonic Harpoon or Sonic Harpoon. That'd be great. Salad Harpoon though, and um, tranquilizer harpoons. Are there super cavitating harpoons? I don't think so. I don't think so. That'd be interesting though. Huh. Um, and also chemical flares, which are terrible in this, by the way. They're a lot worse than they used to be, but that's all we get. So. A suspicious shore settlement reported. Not necessarily what I'd want to start the game off with, but okay, let's try it out. It's out in California. We can't reach that, I think. Ah, we can only just reach it. You can see this dotted line area here being our, um, our maximum. So there's just a portion of the globe, basically this face that we can't reach. This guy just within reach. We'll go for it. You can see that our Seamaster does have a detection radius. It's an important detail. Other things have detection radii, not necessarily XCOM things. And of course we're getting there at basically midnight. Fantastic! Looking forward to this. Bizarre animals, kidnappings, and horrible monsters centered around a quiet fisherman's village. Secure it, investigate the situation, um, and blah. So, gear. Right. What the actual fuck is your face, E.T.? What is that? Oh my god, you're horrifying. Go away. Hops, hello. Much nicer face. This is the general load I'm, I'm going with. The harpoon gun, loaded with just the standard harpoon, 
with a spare standard harpoon and a couple of tranquilizer harpoons, though I might have forgotten to build the thing to allow us to capture people alive. However, I think also we can't research that right now, but I also don't entirely know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't think I can take people alive. Uh, two flares and a die grenade, and also the knife on your belt. Let's go. Oh god, your face, E.T. And this is our start. It's not great. There's no cover at all whatsoever, like I said. It's just you in the open, which is why I brought the die grenades. And we do immediately see a man, a mutated human with... Uh, tree branches? Maybe tentacles. I'm not entirely sure. He's also looking a little bit hulky. There's no info on that weapon that I can grab. Uh, maybe we don't know what it is yet. So we'll go for taking him out. I would go for the stun, but again, I don't think there's much point. There's a hit. Okay, he's still standing though. The, uh, the range of this is a little better than I remember, actually. I don't know, maybe that's just me? Ultima, aim shot. Fuck. Yeah, Olotov. Standing aim shot, 20. Oh yeah, a lot of fire, the tree's in the way. How annoying, Uther, duck down. 31% chance, standing snapshot. Got him right in the hand. He's still up. Oh jeez, Hans. You can kneel at least. 59% chance, you're a little more accurate. There we go. Oh man, one dude down. Jeez. All right, Trinar, give us some light. Where are we even? Are we in a corner? Kind of. Sort of in a corner. Ugh. Look at the light that gives. It's pathetic. It's hardly worth talking about this light. It sucks. There's a better light that we get, but it'll take a minute. We just have to deal with what we've got for now. Don't know who funded us, but they must not like us very much. Uh, I guess get ready for reloads. A door opening off to the right. And another man right there. Ah! Muffin Beard! It was a short life for Muffin Beard. Ultima, drop that. Grab your knife. And. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Well done. One dead dude. The knife? Significantly better than the harpoon gun in basically any way. And the door opening wasn't here. There was a, uh, what was the, there's the hotkey. That's a terrible color. Not great. Sort of the night vision thing to make it a little easier for myself to see sometimes. I'll have to see about changing the uh, color for that though. Because that's not great. Everybody reload who needs it. And we'll get ready for more. Also Hans. We see one. We took a shot. We're taking a couple shots. A little bit of reactions going on. Oh god. Oh, you're okay. Awesome. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Stab him in the teeth. Oh, God. All right. Um, Molotov, you want to give it a go? The left hand. Nice. Swift left-handed jab. We'll go for... I could have tried loading a shank dart, but oh well. Yeah, may as well kneel. Snapshot. There you go. Good hit. I don't know how much health these dudes have. Oh, chest missed. And hops with a standing aim shot, 38%. Got him right in the hip. Okay. So far, that's going pretty well. We'll have to... Hope, though, I think. Oh, Uther. 
Oh, fantastic. I don't know why I keep checking that. It clearly hit. Oh, good hit. Uh, that's not all of them, though. Because I think I've got this set to auto end battle when it's over. Oh, you stop moving there, sir. Trinor. Trinor, go get him. 19% accuracy. Drop that. Still 19. Yeah, I thought so. Ah, uh, that's a misclick. Alright, Uthor! <clears throat> there we go. I think there might also be something about getting them from the back has like an increased hit chance or so. I'm not sure. And I'm kind of questioning whether or not I actually have it set to auto in battle. Yeah, I, I might still. Okay. There's just that many of them down there. Uh. Trinor was just, he was just getting ready for this one. Yeah, that's it. That's what he was doing. Come on, Trinor. Come on, Trinor. Jeez, Uthor. Boy, he's agile, this one. He's just dodging. <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna pull you back a little bit, too. Okay. People generally facing around. There's still more. Ah, right there. How many of you guys were hiding down there? There we go. The hit sounds a lot like a miss, so I never know if that's actually working. Yeah, still definitely more. Alright, well... Um, you know what? Keep the knife out. Hans, loaded with the trank. E.T. with the trank. Oh, got your face. Hops, also with the trank. Okay. Will do. A nice little firing circle thing. Nope, not not like that, Hops. You stay. Uther. We've done well so far. I'll also give you a drink. And then we got a few knives. Mutant has gone berserk. Whoa! Oh, it's got a gun! Fuck! And somebody else panicked. That one's also got a gun. And another pa There's a lot of them still. Oh my god. I don't remember so many. Knife him, knife him, knife him! Slut the throat! Okay. Well, let's get ready. Oh, got the misclicks. Yeti, did you know that there's a way you can make it so you double click and then you don't move right away when you do a misclick because you have to click again? Yeah, but then I just double click all the time and it doesn't work because then I'm double clicking all the time and I still accidentally double click when I mean to not double click. It doesn't work. It just won't work. Trust me, it won't. It won't, it won't, it won't, it won't, it won't. It won't work. Ultimate, get rid of the harpoon. <sighs> well, uh work our way over to this dude with Uthor watching our butt. Mutant panicking. Another one panicking. Those could be the ones with guns. A third one panicking. Okay. He might have panicked and dropped his gun. That'd be great. It was pretty far down there, wasn't it? Can you try it? There you go. Oh yeah, there he is. He still has his gun, though. He, he's frothing a little bit at the mouth. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't really do an aim shot from here. Hans? Okay, he dropped his gun, though. That's good. That's cool. We like that. That's a good sign. I'll let them get a little bit closer, maybe. Hopefully the one with the gun drops his gun. Reaction shot. A bit of a ways from this distance. I kind of wish you wouldn't. That's kind of precious ammo you're wasting there. Not enough timing. It's now for that. Oh, 43% is okay, I guess. Right in the nape. And E.T. sees him. 
but only while standing. And he has dropped his gun. Good, good. I think they still have a melee. I'll have you spin a bit so you don't waste your reaction shot. Or waste your ammo on a reaction shot, rather. Yeah, 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 I know. There's a bunch of them everywhere, Hops. I know. Knives standing by. Yeah, they're just running off. Oop, okay. That's a proper mutant. Let's try to stun it. Uh. I'm pretty sure I don't have the building to take them live anyway, so it's all for nothing, basically. And 41 time minutes for the aim shot. Okay. Ah, oh, beautiful. Three hits. He's still standing, though, unfortunately. That's so bad. It's really not good. Hopefully he passes out this next turn. And you're out of ammo. That's another mutated human. Although he's bleeding out. I'm not sure how. I don't think we stabbed one unconscious, but maybe. He... I think that's the one that panicked. He's out. Oh, still alive though. Hans, no! Nope, he didn't panic either. Fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, you have no gun. Okay. Let's... Uh, hi! Let's take out this one. There we go. He's sleeping. Nice. Let's, uh... Let's put that away. The dudes who had guns... We'll let them exist. Let the man who's far away get a bit closer. He's pretty far out. I don't think he'd be able to move up and also attack. while we chase down these dudes who may or may not be able to hit me. I don't remember if they have a melee. One hit. Well done, E.T. Yeah, that'll be... that'll be pretty expensive movement. We'll keep it there. He's just running around. I don't think he has a melee. Come on, Hops. Come on, E.T. Get a little bit closer. And get another flare down there, too. Down the alleyway a bit. Huh. There's another one there. There's a lot of dudes on this mission. There's a much easier um, water mission to do where you're just killing a, a, just a few squiddly things. I much prefer that. But, oh well. You know what, let's get a run behind him. I feel like I remember that being a thing. Just short. Still waiting on the one over there. You'd think these guys could at least punch or like choke slam or elbow drop or something, you know? Maybe like suplex me or so, but nope, they don't. They do not know how. And I could always grab your shotgun, I suppose. Kind of the benefit of it being just a shotgun. I, I don't need to research that. We just, we can use that straight away. That's a pretty cool plus. If you can take those guys out first, you get a shotgun for the rust. It's good. Alright, there's another one of you down here. I'll finish him up later on. Get ready for the mutant that's here. 
kind of like herding it into a corner, I feel like. It's over there. Somewhere. I don't really want to split up too much. Mutant wind berserk. Somebody still has a gun? How are there this many? How? I demand answers. Back, man. Ah, okay. You see him. No, you see... that guy bleeding out. That's really bad. I think E.T. might be dead. I moved you way too far up. I was hoping to see the guy and then stab the guy, but I didn't realize how much time units you had spent. That's no good. That might actually be the same mutant that we were hurting from up above. He may have just come all the way down and around. Ah. Yeah, E.T.'s super dead, and the shotgun guy is indoors, confirmed. Well, hops. Blammo. Ah! Ha! The rest of them surrendered, I think? I think they technically surrendered. Well, yeah, we can't take them alive, so they're just considered dead. We just executed them. Oh, surrender is a thing in this. Um, after a while, if there's just like a couple left, they'll just surrender. It makes things a lot easier to the end, you don't have to do a bug hunt, assuming that you're actually doing well. But, uh, yeah, that, that's a thing. We lost four. Which, honestly, it's not so bad for the first mission. We killed 12 of them, we recovered 15 corpses, so there are three left still. The shotgun guy, the mutant that we were chasing. And then I think a shotgun guy dropped his weapon somewhere. Yikes. Not great. Uh, generally, some small stuff. Five stamina and hops. Four timing nuts on Uthor. Four health on Ultima and hops. That's a good one. Two accuracy on hops, I suppose. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. We got some shotgun, shotgun shells, and 15 mutated human corpses, which I'll sell all but one. Because they don't do anything for you. I can research them for mutations analysis, which leads to... I'm not sure what. Probably nothing. But I'll do that for a nice bit of money. $140,000 in corpses. Yum. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, As an ensign. Grats, Sharnar. And rest in peace, Hans, Molotov, E.T., and Muffinbeard. Molotov and Hans at least get a clone real quick. Muffin Beard and E.T., unfortunately, you're out until we pull a lap in the Patreon list. I'm sorry. 